Lucille Bremer, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, left an impact that resonates with many. Whether through her on-screen presence or personal stories, she has found a place in the hearts of those who admire her work. Have you ever been inspired by her, or perhaps have a cherished memory associated with this iconic figure? We would love to hear your stories and experiences in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unravel some interesting, amusing, and poignant facts about this classic Hollywood actor. Keep watching for a journey through the moments that shaped her career and the stories that continue to captivate audiences. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic figure. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up, so don't miss out. Your engagement adds depth to our exploration of Lucille Bremer's legacy. Share your thoughts and memories below. Renowned for her significant contributions to the world of film, Lucille Bremer boasts a filmography that reflects prowess and versatility. Captivating audiences with performances that left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape, she is a talent worth exploring. One of her celebrated projects is Meet Me in St. Louis, a classic musical that resonates with audiences even today. In this iconic film, she delivers an intriguing performance, adding depth to the storyline. Another gem in her repertoire is Siegfeld Follies, where captivating presence in the world of musicals shines through. For a different flavor, Yolanda and the Thief is a must-see. Bremer's intricate portrayal in this film adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, making it a standout in her body of work. Fans of her enduring charm will find this movie particularly enchanting. In Behind Locked Doors, she takes on a role that highlights versatility beyond musicals. The film's intriguing plot and her remarkable performance make it a worthwhile addition to any film marathon. To delve into the earlier stages of her career, Diamond Horseshoe stands out as a testament to captivating screen presence. This film is a great starting point for those interested in exploring multifaceted talent. In the world of film, Lucille Bremer's legacy is etched through these must-watch movies. Her contributions to the industry continue to captivate audiences, and these films serve as an excellent introduction for those looking to embark on a cinematic journey through her work. Actress Lucille Bremer faced challenging personal relationships and various struggles throughout her life. Born into a world of glamour and lights, her journey was marked by complexities that often went unnoticed behind the scenes. Navigating difficult personal relationships, she encountered hurdles that tested her resilience. The glitz of Hollywood concealed the intricacies of her interpersonal connections, revealing a life that wasn't always as picture-perfect as the silver screen portrayed. The trials she faced were a testament to the harsh realities that accompany fame and fortune. Beyond the spotlight, Lucille grappled with the complexities of human connection. Her struggles mirrored those experienced by many, proving that even amidst the glamour, genuine relationships could be elusive. The relentless pursuit of success came at the cost of personal tranquility, leaving her entangled in a web of emotions that echoed the struggles of everyday life. Despite the challenges, her story serves as a reminder that the journey to success is not always straightforward. The allure of fame often conceals the personal battles fought behind closed doors. In the tapestry of her life, the threads of difficult relationships and personal struggles are woven alongside the glimmering threads of stardom. Her experiences shed light on the universal nature of human challenges, transcending the confines of the silver screen. Her narrative, though unique, resonates with anyone who has faced adversity in their personal relationships and life struggles. The actress, like many, found herself navigating a path fraught with difficulties, seeking an elusive balance between public adoration and personal fulfillment. In conclusion, Lucille Bremer's life was a canvas painted with both the bright hues of success and the darker shades of personal struggles. Her journey, marked by the complexities of difficult relationships and inner turmoil, is a reflection of the shared human experience, often hidden behind the glittering facade of stardom. Louis B. Mayer, the influential head of MGM Studio, believed in Lucille Bremer's potential, confident that with the right guidance, she could become one of the studio's leading stars. However, lacking the same conviction in her abilities, she chose to step away from the screen less than five years after her notable role in Meet Me in St. Louis. When screen tested at MGM, Bremer performed a scene from Betty Davis' film Dark Victory, drawing attention for her striking resemblance to the acclaimed actress. This recognition hinted at the studio's anticipation of her potential success on the big screen. 
Following her death, Bremer's remains were cremated and her ashes were scattered off the coast of Baja, California, marking the conclusion of her journey. Gave birth to her fourth child at age 38, a son named Tora Richard Rodriguez, on December 14, 1955. The child's father is her ex-husband, Luis Rodriguez. Moving on, her last name was pronounced Bremer, not Bremer. Notably, she served as Fred Astaire's dance partner in two films. Following these aspects of her life, Lucille Bremer's journey extended beyond her cinematic roles and into personal milestones such as the birth of her fourth child and her distinct pronunciation. Her collaboration with Fred Astaire showcased her versatility as she took on the role of his dance partner in two films. It's a glimpse into the diverse facets of Lucille Bremer's life beyond the confines of the silver screen. This is the concise account of her experiences. Gave birth to her second child at 33, a daughter named Karen Rodriguez on December 26, 1950. The child's father is her ex-husband, Luis Rodriguez. Shortly after, she graced the cover of Life magazine on March 25, 1946, highlighting her prominence in the entertainment industry. Prior to her cinematic journey, she was a member of the Radio City Rockettes, showcasing her versatility in the world of performing arts. From motherhood to magazine covers and a stint with the Radio City Rockettes, Lucille Bremer's life unfolded beyond the glare of movie lights, revealing varied facets of her journey. A daughter's birth, a magazine feature, and dance with the Rockettes all contributed to the narrative of her life, showcasing the breadth of her experiences. Lucille Bremer, known for her roles on the silver screen, embraced various aspects of life beyond acting. Born in Amsterdam, New York, a town that also claims Kirk Douglas, she lived a life marked by personal and political events. At 32, she welcomed her first child, a daughter named Christina Rodriguez, with ex-husband Luis Rodriguez. Family played a crucial role in her life, extending beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Later, at 33, her second child, Karen Rodriguez, arrived on December 26, 1950. Bremer's involvement in politics showcased her commitment to conservative causes. A staunch Republican, she actively participated in campaigns and events for figures like Wendell Wilkie, Thomas E. Dewey, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan. Her dedication went beyond rhetoric as she contributed both time and resources to political galas, fundraisers, and Republican national conventions. This multifaceted woman's life wasn't confined to cinema. It unfolded in personal milestones, political engagements, and diverse experiences. From childbirth to political activism, Lucille Bremer's journey was woven into the fabric of her times, leaving an indelible mark on both the personal and political landscape. Welcoming her third child into the world at the age of 35 marked a new chapter in Lucille Bremer's life, a chapter filled with the coups and cries of a newborn son named Nicolas Rodriguez. His arrival on November 15, 1952 was a joyous occasion, connecting Bremer to the rhythms of motherhood once again. The proud father was none other than her ex-husband, Luis Rodriguez, adding another layer to the intricate tapestry of familial journey. As she gracefully transitioned from the silver screen to the everyday challenges of raising a family, Lucille continued to find solace and strength in the bonds of kinship. The ebb and flow of life, both on and off the screen, were shaped by the delicate balance of personal milestones and professional endeavors. Each birth, including that of Nicholas, wove a thread into the narrative of a woman who transcended the glitzy facade of Hollywood, finding fulfillment in the simple joys of family life. Beyond the realm of cinematic roles, Lucille's journey extended into the multifaceted landscape of the entertainment industry. Her experiences, ranging from captivating performances to the intricate dance of familial relationships, formed the backdrop against which the story unfolded. The Hollywood glamour faded into the background as she embraced the complexities of her roles as both a mother and an artist. In the world beyond the studio lights, Bremer's legacy was etched with the indelible imprints of genuine moments untethered from the spotlight. Her narrative resonated with the universal themes of love, growth, and resilience, offering a relatable perspective that went beyond the confines of fame. The chapters of her life, written in the subtle strokes of familial bonds and artistic endeavors, reflect the true essence of a woman who navigated the intriguing landscapes of both Hollywood and home. And so, as we reflect on Lucille Bremer's journey highlighted by the birth of Nicolas Rodriguez, 
and the myriad threads that compose the fabric of life, we find a story that transcends the boundaries of time and space. A tale that resonates not only in the annals of history, but in the hearts of those who cherish the simplicity and depth of a life lived authentically. Lucille Bremer, once a prominent figure on the silver screen, navigated a diverse journey beyond Hollywood's glitter. Born in Amsterdam, New York, she found herself not only in cinematic roles, but also in the intricate dance of familial relationships. At 32, she welcomed her first child, a daughter named Cristina Rodriguez, with ex-husband Luis Rodriguez. Family played a crucial role in her life, extending beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Later, at 33, her second child arrived on December 26, 1950. Beyond the confines of fame, her life unfolded in personal milestones, political engagements, and diverse experiences. A staunch Republican, she actively participated in campaigns for figures like Wendell Wilkie, Thomas E. Dewey, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan, contributing both time and resources. Welcoming her third child at the age of 35 marked a new chapter in her life, a chapter filled with the coups and cries of a newborn son named Nicolas Rodriguez on November 15, 1952. As she gracefully transitioned from the silver screen to the everyday challenges of raising a family, Lucille continued to find solace and strength in the bonds of kinship. The ebb and flow of life, both on and off the screen, were shaped by the delicate balance of personal milestones and professional endeavors. Each birth, including that of Nicholas, wove a thread into the narrative of a woman who transcended the glitzy facade of Hollywood, finding fulfillment in the simple joys of family life. Beyond the realm of cinematic roles, her journey extended into the multifaceted landscape of the entertainment industry. Her experiences, ranging from captivating performances to the intricate dance of familial relationships, formed the backdrop against which the story unfolded. The Hollywood glamour faded into the background as she embraced the complexities of her roles as both a mother and an artist. In the world beyond the studio lights, her legacy was etched with the indelible imprints of genuine moments untethered from the spotlight. The narrative resonated with the universal themes of love, growth, and resilience, offering a relatable perspective that went beyond the confines of fame. And so, as we reflect on Lucille Bremer's journey highlighted by the birth of Nicolas Rodriguez and the myriad threads that compose the fabric of life, we find a story that transcends the boundaries of time and space. A tale that resonates not only in history, but in the hearts of those who cherish the simplicity and depth of a life lived authentically.